The political environment in Uganda keeps on carrying surprises on a daily basis as laws keep changing to dance to the tunes of the state. Just yesterday, the Electoral Commission Chairman Engineer Badri Chigundu announced a halt to nominate Kampala mayoral candidates pending clarification from the executive. This followed the move on Tuesday by the Prime Minister Dr. Hakana Rugunda, who is also the leader of government business in Parliament, tabling before the House the Kampala Capital City Authority Bill 2015, seeking a change in the mode of electing the Lord Mayor. The bill proposes that the mayor should be elected by city councillors instead. Now, Fred Muema, a legal practitioner, explains to WBS TV that the move to halt nomination of Kampala mayor aspirants is a total abuse of the constitution and on top of abusing the citizens' right to choice. How come this bill is being brought now when the nominations for mayoral candidates is on Monday? Why? It shows that there is bad faith. It shows that this bill is introduced to score a political goal somewhere and but we are saying never mind what the politics is what is the law the law is that all offices of leadership in this country are elective Moema says that the way events are unfolding truly justifies that the electoral body is far away from being independent these uh, developments show that we are going backwards because when the new constitution was made in 1995, we were going forward. In what sense? We were going forward because we are now going to be governed in accordance with the laws passed by parliament. Now we are being governed in accordance with guidelines and policies and, and opinions from a minister. That is taking us backwards. The, the, the Uganda that we have achieved, the Uganda that is talked about, the Uganda that we want is a Uganda which follows the laws which are made. And we are saying that whether you like Lukwago or not, can he enjoy the benefit of the law as it is? And what should be the way forward in such a political environment? The citizens of Kampala have to decide ultimately because the power belongs to them. Can the Electoral Commission read Article 1 of the Constitution? It says all power belongs to the people and all the organs of government exercise that power on behalf of the people. And the people can withdraw that mandate from those organs if they go against the Constitution. So this is a total breakdown that we are having now. It is a breakdown which is unfortunately being orchestrated by the Electoral Commission. Which the nomination of aspirants for Kampala Lord Mayor had earlier on been scheduled for the 16th to the 20th of November. The 1995 constitution gives mandate to the Electoral Commission to take full charge of all electoral processes, but it however finds itself in a retrospective manner as regards to the KCCA amendment bill. Joslina Chibule, WBS-TV, Kampala.